Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Special edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I grew up in the same streets that I actually patrol now, so I remember as a child growing up, I remember seeing uh, the gang problems, and I remember seeing some of the problems that plagued the neighborhood throughout the years, and uh, you know, as I grew older, I wanted to make a difference in the community. I feel that I've made a difference along with uh, my fellow officers as a team. So the call we're going to be arriving on now, it's, uh, it came out as a domestic violence call. Husband and wife dispute. Uh, supposedly the uh, husband's still beating up on the on the wife, and he's still on the scene. So that's who we got here. Okay, it's going to be on this side over here. There you go. Seventy-three twenty-three. Seventy-three twenty-three. Senora. Did you call to your mate? No, I called. Where's apartment number twenty-one? Twenty-one. Yeah. I called because okay. I lost my teeth on the roof and I can't find it. You lost your teeth? Yes. Okay, you lost your teeth on the roof, but you called. Uh, you called from apartment number 21, supposedly? No, no, I'm number one. You're number one. Okay, okay. Then we had a mistake. You had a problem with your with your husband? Uh, or with your boyfriend? Yes, and I just need a flashlight or somebody go up there and see. On the roof? See, on okay, the roof. okay, but we need to know exactly what happened. Then I can come over in 10 minutes. Yeah. She, her false teeth go on, uh, on the roof there. And I can't I'm wearing these things. I can't wear them. Are you wearing, you're wearing the, the replacements, the spares? The spares. I can't wear them. Oh, okay. And they're on the roof. I didn't need a flashlight. Yeah. Where's your husband? I didn't call for the, uh, the police. Where's your husband? Where's your husband? Nicole, what happened to your arm here? I noticed you got a little injury there. What happened there? Something happened there. Okay, I went upstairs. Excuse me, sir. I went upstairs. That's apartment number one there? No, no, no. no. No, no, it's my house. He didn't do this. Nah, we know. He didn't do this. Bring him out to sleep. There's nobody in here. Let him sleep. ¿Qué pasó? No sé, su esposa no llamó sobre algún problema que ustedes tuvieron. No, la esposa mía no. Llamó un problema que hubo ahí al frente. Su esposa. No sé. Caro. Esa señora ahí es su esposa. Caro. Caro, ven acá. Sí, me voy a ir. Carl, we need to know what's going on. If you call 911, we need to know what's I going on. I didn't call 911. I called to, to find the teeth on the roof. Yes, okay. Listen. So she ate. Look, look. Look at the hand. Look. Yes. 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 Basically, we're just trying to verify uh, how the supposed victim, which lost her dentures, and also we also want to verify how she received those injuries to her left arm. She's claiming nothing happened, but she's uh, there's something fishy about the story due to the fact that she did, she, you know, she can't tell us how she received those injuries. So we're trying, to, we're trying to investigate the situation now and see what we got. I'm here for your interest. Okay, if he did, sh listen to me, listen to me, because I'm here only trying to help, okay? If he did do something, don't cover up for him because... I'm just covering up for okay. him. He slammed a piece of cheese in my mouth. He slammed a piece of cheese in your mouth? In my mouth, okay. that's when my teeth went flying out. Okay, why did he slam a piece of cheese in my mouth? Because I told him good evening all the...
damn keys, I need it for something else. Okay, when he slammed a piece of cheese in your mouth, okay, how did he do it? He did. He, he grabbed it. He grabbed the, the piece of cheese. Here. And he put it. In, he threw it in your mouth, or he pushed it, or. He pushed it in my mouth. He pushed it in your mouth. Apparently, they're having an argument over a piece of cheese that he was feeding her, and then somehow got stuck in her dentures. And uh, yeah, the dentures fell out the window right over here. Me. Show me more or less what you think these teeth would be. I don't mainly over here. Show me what you think. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. I got you. I got you. Be careful. I was Where? sitting right here. You were sitting right there. The cheese is going to be in here somewhere. Okay. It's yellow. You know what yellow is? But like I said, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. We have about, about 10,000 cigarette right? butts down there. Yeah. I'm not looking for the cheese. But no, we're looking for the yellow, dentures down there. In the yellow plane. Okay. okay. All right, step back. Let's see. Step back. Let's see if we can see anything. Yeah. It's possible they could have also rolled over to West Flagler Street. Yeah. They could have rolled over to West Flagler. Did you check on the actual street itself? Yeah. Okay. It's possible they could actually be on the side of West Flagler. If we if, when we go downstairs now, if we see anything, we'll go ahead and uh, bring them upstairs to you. Okay. We see them. Basically, the call went out as a uh, violent fight between a husband and wife. But what it turned out to be was uh, he was feeding his wife of 18 years. And apparently, and all that, as he was feeding her by the window, her dentures fell out. And uh, they either fell somewhere on the, on the aluminum uh, siding roof over here or somewhere on the sidewalk. So uh, we're all looking f uh, you know, for her. But this is definitely one for the books. Yeah, I, I didn't see him. When I was looking, I didn't see him, ma'am. I was, I was out the window looking for him. Mira, ella, ella sabe. Ella sabe. Yo te sirvi o ella. Okay. Hey, hey. Yeah, ya me lo dejo, ya me lo dejo. Hey. Stop that. Hey, don't do that. Nah, nah. <laughs> don't do that. No, don't do that. 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 We're responding to a possible domestic. A friend has left the residence and called the police department to inform them there is a domestic at her friend's apartment. We finally got the address of the apartment and now we're responding to the address. Don't know what kind of fight it is. We have a woman calling up, says that her friend and her friend's boyfriend are fighting. That's all we know. This is it. How's everything going tonight? All right, how are you? Was there an argument up here earlier? Yeah, there was an argument. Hold on. Hold on. Why don't you come over here and talk to me real quick, hey, sir? Sir, why don't, sir you why don't you go talk to the other officer, please? How you doing? She told me to wait on, or wait a minute. She opened the door. I went to walk to the back room. That door was locked. Okay. So I had already, you know, her, one of her friends was here. Um, I had already anticipated something happening here while I was gone, you know, just because I'm a jealous person. So I walked in. That back door was locked. The back bedroom door was locked. Yes, sir. So uh, I kicked that door open. It's your door. Yeah, I kicked it open. The window was open and the screen was knocked off. So that's what we were arguing about. Okay. You know, he, he's telling his side of the story. We'd like to hear your side. He came home. I had a girlfriend of mine over. He thought we were and He thinks I'm a lesbian, so he thinks I was And then what happened? Okay. Where were you headed now? Okay. How long have you guys been together? Four years. Four years. Do you have any children or anything? Two. Okay. So, what happened inside? Did he hit you or grab you or something? What's on your arm there? Okay, let me explain it to you, okay? This, is, this has nothing to do with what you want, okay? We're not about letting you stay around here if he's threatening you or intimidating you. I don't know. She swears up and down there was nobody. So why would they need to run out the back window? Well, if you knew me, you'd run out the back window, too. Especially if you didn't have a gun. I know how this turns out. I've been put in the hospital before. Okay, Michelle, come on over here. Michelle, come on over here. Come here. Come here. Why don't you tell me what happened? 
saying? You all right? Okay. It was just, we were just hurting. Okay. Okay, she doesn't want to tell me anything. She's scared to death of this guy. You need to tell me what happened in here. Okay, well, we're here to help everybody, okay? But we need to know the story. Okay, what are you scared of? Are you? Her not doing anything and has continued. Okay, on well, it's not her choice, okay? Okay, so what did he do tonight? I saw him push her okay. in the bathroom and closed the door. And she, he, she, I guess she was going to use the bathroom or something. I don't know. Okay. And I heard her like yell, and I looked at her, and she was going into the shower. Okay. Did he push her or hit her or what? It looks like he pushed her. The husband came home the night. And uh, the back window was unlocked, and uh, the blinds were all messed up. It looked like someone had made an escape. It looks like someone had made an escape through the back window here, which has since been shut, and um, became very jealous. Basically, what happened here is the suspect kicked the door in here, causing a lot of damage to the wall. You can see he split the frame of the door in his rage. I'm a jealous person. Okay. My wife's a go-go dancer. Right. I'm in the Navy. Okay. okay. She doesn't like what I do. I don't really care for what she does. Okay. But uh, there's been some speculation that maybe she's been messing around on me. But okay. I just get the marks on her arms. That was probably for me holding her. Okay. Keeping her there because all she wanted to do was run out of the room. Okay. And I was like, I'm not letting you run out of the room and go okay. God knows where. And do God knows what. Okay, how did she fall into the bathtub? Uh, she was scared of me. She thought I was going to hit her. Okay, and what happened? Well, I was there, and I was like, if you don't tell me, I'll hit you. Okay. You know? And she was like, no, 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 no. Well, I can see what, I mean, I can see her on her arms are all bruised up. Okay, well, that's part of the problem, Gary, okay? If you're arguing, you can't touch her. Okay, that's the deal. All right? So right now, I want you to turn around and place your hands behind your back. Okay. Hold on, can we do this in no, the sir. Seriously? Right here. Is my shoulder is no back. problem. Well, we'll fix all that in a second, okay? Does she know that I'm getting arrested? Okay, turn around, Gary. Well, could you possibly bring her out here? I won't say anything vulgar. No, sir. We're going to talk to her separately, okay? 224T, I just need a shield unit. She's got some pretty good bruises on her arms, Gary. And I don't care what the situation is, you cannot grab her. I've been a sergeant about uh, eight years. Uh, you take on uh, additional responsibility of approving all the other uh, officers' reports and uh, their actions at uh, different scenes. So it's uh, truly a lot more, uh, lot more responsibility. We responded to a uh, call of a domestic disturbance. Uh, we're back in. Uh, Another deputy. 3361's in the area. How you doing? All right, you're welcome. Come here, hang on a second. Just the two of you here? Yep. What seems to be the problem? The problem is I came home from work. I went to work. I had a few. I went out. Okay, just a second. I went out and I had a few drinks. I walk in. We're not married. She starts hollering. You both live here? Yeah. Okay. Starts hollering, screaming at me that I've been... Who was I out? Who was I out? You'd be explicit. Mm -hmm. Who am I out? Oh, and I said some blonde, you know, just... She busts me upside the head. Cole caught me from the blind side. Boom! I told her to get out. With her hand? Yeah. Get out. Just get out. Okay. Here you go. Why don't we step inside here? Sure, what? come on. Are you okay? Did you get struck or anything? Uh, he picked me up and threw me in my back. Landed on the floor. He threw me. Picked you up and threw you down? He threw me on the ground. Right. Don't yeah. live okay, what, what exactly happened? He came home at 1130. He was supposed to be home at 6. He didn't tell me he was going out. He was drunk. He'd been drinking. And I asked him, I said, where have you been? He told me it's none of my business. And then he told me he was sleeping around, so I slapped him across the face. Because he said that. Okay. You slapped him with an open hand? Yeah. Okay. Slapped him across the face. And then what happened after that? Um, I walked out of the bedroom, and he ran after me, and he picked me up and threw me. 
and I started crying and I thought he was going to hit me again, but he didn't. You alright to drive and everything? Yeah, I'll be alright. Um, he's got my glasses, my eyeglasses. I need them. Okay. All right. I don't know what he did with them. Okay, just hang on a second. <laughs> She said something about you having her eyeglasses and maybe the... I paid for those eyeglasses. Key. I paid for those eyeglasses. You paid for her eyeyeglasses? Yes, sir. Yes, well, what are you going to do with them? I'll take them back and get whatever I'll money get I can out of them. If she uses them to see and she needs them to drive to, so she's not here tonight. I understand that. Okay. I don't have them. I mean, I know where they are. I paid uh -huh. over 400 300 right. plus dollars for those right, eyeglasses. We, we, can we can sympathize with that, but what good are her eyeglasses going to do for you? Money. I paid for him. Well, but for tonight, for her to leave and... That would be a kind gesture for me to let her have sure would. Sure, sure would. would. I'm not trying a to human thing. butt walk. Well... Let her take her glasses. Good idea. I don't want her to get hurt or good anything idea. like that. I'm not like that. I'm good just, idea. That's fine. This car is registered to her? Yeah. That's it's what she's leaving in? In an expired tag. Okay. Well, expired this month sometime? Expired last... Yeah. Expired in November sometime. On her birthday sometime. of 18th. Do you have any family or anything um, locally? Uh, my father's in Bradenton. I'm going to go up there. You gonna go to your father's house? Yeah, I'm gonna go to my father's You're house. You're right to drive and everything? Yeah, I'll be all right. All right, Damon. Not a Good luck. Like that or... No, this officer will sign the uh, signing of David. You oh, signed the. I apologize if I seem indifferent or wrong. Uh... No problem at all. No problem, Damon. Good luck to you. Hope everything works out. Take care. We're on our way to a domestic violence complaint. A male and a woman are some kind of verbal argument right now. She's gone to a neighbor's house just down the road. It's a uh, housing development. We've had several, we've had problems out here occasionally. It's not a steadily run for calls, but we've had our fair share of problems there. Looks like they're ready and waiting, though. Go in here for a little while. Um, can the kids go in your house? What happened tonight? He said, "Well, I'll just knock her teeth all down because he knocked these two teeth out of my teeth out of my mouth two days ago." Those two right there. Mm -hmm. That's Tuesday night. Yeah. Or Wednesday night. Tuesday night. That's when he did the eye. Mm-hmm. And he said, "Well, I'll just knock the other teeth out of her mouth." Cause we were hiding around inside the trailer because we were afraid to come in because I cooked the holiday I cooked the holiday dinner yesterday and I was afraid things weren't right cleaned up right when and they got home early enough I didn't have everything done and I was scared so I was like hiding outside of the um, side of the trailer and she says well mommy they said they're gonna knock all your teeth out of your mouth is he put his hands on you tonight not has yet. he hit you tonight not yet where's he at is he close by they ran to the trailer over there, but I'm telling you, I mean, this I, is what, I believe you. I don't. This is what he's done to me, and I'm I believe afraid. You. I was a. I've called. I've been. I, I've been to I the act shelter today. I've called them. I've called my probation. I've called all these people today, and they said, "Well, if you do this and if you do that, then you might take me to jail because of that restraining order from way back." Is long it still ago. valid? Yeah. Okay, first but things. He wants her out here. And I'm. I'm to the point now. If you got to take one second, to jail. listen up. Give me a second. You're yelling at me, I haven't said anything to you yet. I know, but all I'm right? scared and I'm hurt. Don't help me, all right? Where, where is this guy now? Point me in the direction, let me they go get him. They ran to the trailer next door. Next door where? Right there. Officer, right there. Oh, yeah. Right around the corner there, boss. Ah. Hey, what's up, up, man? Yeah, all right. right. What? Put your cigarette down. I am doing nothing. Get the truck for me. I'm going to talk to you for a couple minutes. You've just been sure. kind of hard to find. No, I hadn't. I'm, the kids knew I was over here. My kids. What happened over there tonight? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I've been working. I'm not sure what's today's Friday. I've been working seven days a week. It's hard for me to even keep up with what day it the is. The restraining order you have against her, is it still valid? Uh, last time I called, they said it wasn't. It wasn't? Yes, sir. Okay. Because she uh, come over to my house, and I called you one day, and y'all come over, and I told y'all about it, and y'all took me to jail and told me that my restraining order was no good, so they let her go. <laughs> I mean, I didn't... Let's walk back over towards your house and see what, uh, okay. see what we can figure out here. I just want you to have a seat there for a couple minutes. Can I just stand up? No, you can have a seat in the car. You guys can go to jail then, huh? Not yet. You 
Jesus. No, not yet. I'm, you're not under arrest. You're handcuffed because you guys have been hard to get a hold of. They're supposed to be, when we got dispatched here, they said there were guns in the houses and things like that. And all of a sudden, all the males here turned to smoke. So until we figure out what's going on, I just want you to sit back and relax so I can talk to your girlfriend, okay? I don't have no way out of here. None of these people got no money. This all you got to do is call the sheriff's ride. department. We'd have taken care of all that. We'd have taken care of taking you to the I've hospital, the all that. For Come on. Four Get hours right today. Now I'm on one. It would have been a 10-second call. What do you want? He beat the out of me. I've got black and blue bruises up and down here. He's got my teeth out of my mouth right here. He's pulled all my hair. It's all cut. I had all the neighbors cut this out. Robin, I know what he did. I know what's been done. Now I'm trying to... I've got, I've got my teeth... Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. But Slow you're down. asking me. I'm I know. upset because I'm upset. Calm down. I'll tell you what I can do for you, okay? I'm trying to work with you here, but you called me two days, two or three days past occurred. Go on back over there and hang out with your kids so they don't get scared any more than they are. And as soon as I got an answer for you, I'll, I'll come get you, all right? Well, uh, what about all the scratches on me and everything like that? I mean, if you're taking me to jail for Tuesday night, why? how come you're not locking her up for Tuesday? Look at her eye and her shoulder. Look at my face and my and shoulders and my legs and, and my stomach. Uh, and uh, Okay, let's say he goes into jail and he, and he gets... Uh, sentenced to counseling and you all try to get back together with counseling and you try to reconcile the situation, all right? What's going to happen when it's when it's Christmas Eve? I'm not reconciling anything with him. And What's going to happen when it's Christmas Eve? I'm not going to be And this happens Christmas again. Eve. Are you going to wait until January the 1st to call us? No, I ain't going to do it. Why won't you do it? Because I don't want to be with him no more. All right. All right, well, we're going to take some pictures of you. We're going to get a statement from you and we're going to go ahead and arrest him Good. for battery. Thank you. As it turns out, the neighbors of this woman who was beaten so badly by her husband all knew what was going on. They were all aware that she'd been beaten. They were aware that he'd beat her this bad. It's pretty sad when a husband can abuse his wife this badly, and she has to wait three days before she can feel safe enough to contact us. He would like to make his own tow arrangement. To have a tow order. We're going on a domestic disturbance call now. Um, don't have any information on the call at all other than... Well, in fact, I don't even know who called it in, if they did or if a neighbor did. Right there. We're going to date of birth on what you showing your friend out there. They're in the house. They're taking a quiz. What are they doing? They're fist fighting. Now? What's going on? I want to see some hands. Why don't you come over here and let me see some hands? Come over here. Come over here. With me? Yeah. Okay. What is going on? I'm trying to go down here and get my clothes, but she won't let me go get it. Yeah, well, he can't prove that they're his. Talk to me. Not him. He can't prove that they're his. And then so you two are fighting? Yeah. Why? I'm just trying to go downstairs and get my clothes. And my clothes. Why? Oh, Why? I got a place where I'm going as soon as I get my stuff. Do you live here? I used to. Used to. You don't now, right? Because no, I just want to get my clothes. So he I can wants leave. to be lazy and stuff. And then, when you're married, you're supposed to be happy. Hey, talk to me. Hmm? Right now, I've been under I know, when you're married, you're I'm supposed to be happy. I'm not happy. He put clothes, he put holes in my clothes and stuff before. Who started the fight? Who started the fight? Who started it? Who started the fight? Both of us. No, I just started. Who started? Because I came, I just went downstairs to get my hair. Really? When Maybe? I came up here, she pulled my hair and threw me on the bed. What did you do? Push him? Held him back? Downstairs. She's only against my will down there. I wanted to come up. I wanted to bring my trunk and stuff up here. I wanted to bring all my possessions up here so I can leave. You just told me that you held him down in the basement. Yeah, but it's not his stuff. He cannot prove that it's his stuff. I'm not talking about his property. You just told us yeah, that him you held him down in the basement. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. I don't want to touch charges, sir. I don't want to go in jail. You don't what about me when he shoved on me? How much will it take to get her out? Yeah. Six hours. 
She can sign out. Hold oh, still. I don't, I, have a, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to go in jail at all. I don't want you don't to have a choice in this. Under Kansas, Kansas State? Under Kansas law? Under Kansas law? Kansas law? Under Kansas law? Under Kansas law? When we're aware of domestic violence, we have to book the aggressor. Okay. You got anything in your pockets? Do you have pockets? Uh, hold on. We're going to see what we're going to do with you. You're not going to sign a complaint on her? No. I don't, I don't want to say nothing against her. Can I say something to her for school? Well, hold on. I think you guys said enough. Ain't nothing you can say or do right now. Well, I want to do something. They ain't going to do nothing to him for shoving me. You started the fight. No, I'm talking about yesterday he shot me. No, we're not. Let's go over here. Over here. Stay right here. She said she watched and said that he didn't do anything. He was just trying to keep trying to protect himself and stuff. She told me she started it. Yeah. And uh, he had consent to go into the house and get everything from her and from the mom. And then once he started packing up things, then that's when she got out of control. Have a seat. You got all upset. You know what this whole thing started over? Nothing. A baby picture. Uh -huh. A picture of their kid together. Uh -huh. He was going to take one picture with him, and she got all mad and started smacking him. Right now we're en route to a domestic violence call. Uh, the reporting party is apparently the daughter of the victim. Uh, the reporting party stated that she found her mother bleeding from the head when she arrived at home. And a mom, I guess, is lying down on the floor at this time. So we're en route there. Find out if the uh, suspect's still on scene. Their p potential for violence, so we have to be really careful in our approach. Here. Yeah. No, he's in one of the ex-boyfriend and he's gone. It he's was the ex-boyfriend? Yeah, and he's gone. So, where is it? Fire? Yeah, fire. Charlie 16. Yeah, we're all fired. Who's, uh... Fire. Let's see your head. Alright. I'll just look over that way, to your right. Ma'am, could you put the cigarette out because the, uh... Paramedics are going to ask you to. Okay. So he's... Looks like a domestic violence. She's got um, bleeding from the head. Can't see the wound, but she's got a lot of bleeding from the side over here. The laceration or something. I let him come over here to see my kid, and he thinks he can do it. I have my boyfriend. My boyfriend's right here. We're ready to to Missouri. What do you What do you hit you with, ma'am? His hand. This hand? Are you bleeding from your ear or? I don't know what I'm doing, Okay. When did you hit in the head? I don't know what I'm doing. Did you strike in the head? He just kept hitting me. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I just shoot. Okay, I'm It's a little dead, so. There you go. What's your name, ma'am? Cecilia. I'm sorry, what's your name? Cecilia. Sir, can I talk to you? Were you here? Yeah, I was upstairs asleep. Okay, what happened? I just woke up to screaming and the kids were all crying and stuff. Came out the bedroom door and saw him fighting. I just went past him and called. So he knew you were here? Yeah, he knew I was here. Okay. You don't know exactly why they started fighting or anything like that? Nah. Did you see? He was here under the pretense of seeing the kids. It was supposed to be just a peaceful visit and he was going to go. Okay. And I woke up to that. So. Did, so you saw him striking her? Yeah. You see the blood on the here? Yeah. Blood down there? Probably might be coming right down the stairs. Yeah. There's a lot of blood around here. Well, for a little head. fight. That was a chicken. Yeah. We got blood all, all over the walls here. Yeah? We got him. We're going to talk to the uh, suspect in custody right now. We'll see what his story is. You're being arrested for assault, domestic violence. Okay. We'll go then. Okay, do you understand that? Yep. You'll be read your rights and, and given an opportunity to uh, to make a phone call when you're down at the station. Sure you don't want paramedics to look at you? Yeah, just go ahead and get pictures. Check your knee out. You don't want you you don't want them to check your knee out? And let's go. Close the door. He didn't do nothing wrong. 
I understand you're doing this. No, my kids right are telling me, oh, Mom, you started it. No, he didn't do nothing wrong. I started it. Okay. Well, you he didn't, didn't do nothing wrong. Regardless, you're the one that got beat up. So you're the one that's bleeding. It's got all over your head. Well, I hit him. I started it. Well, he doesn't have any injuries, so that pretty much I started it. He didn't do nothing wrong. Can you please take him out? No. No, we can't. You guys are married. We don't have, we don't have any. Well, he didn't do nothing wrong. No, he did. That's why he's going to jail. Yeah, he's, he's definitely already going to jail. told us what happened to your daughter. already told us what happened. He's going to jail. He didn't do nothing wrong. Can you please take him out? No. Cecilia, no. according to domestic violence, okay? The domestic violence laws in Arizona are he very didn't do simple. Nothing wrong. He's I, I, I provoked it. It doesn't I matter. I started it. it doesn't, I started it. It doesn't matter. Do nothing wrong. It doesn't matter. The only th I, I started it. I provoked it. The only situation that we have then, if that's going to be the case, is that he's going to go down and we're going to wait a little while and then bring you down as well. You want to go to jail? So you'll both go to jail. He's but he's definitely going to jail. He's, he's definitely going. There's no changes in that. You think it'd make your children feel better for you both to go to jail? Then? Well, well you happened. asked them that because they told me to come out here. Why? Because they said that I that I got their dad in here. Well, then take him out, and then I'll go in jail. Take him out, and then I'll go in. Well, that's not an option. He's going to jail regardless. The majority of the time we respond to domestic violence incidents, um, it's usually a repeat performance. Uh, people very rarely have one incident of domestic violence. It's usually a, a history of domestic violence within a family or within a relationship that continues to manifest time and time again. And this is a perfect example. Station, Tinkle, may I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm reporting a fight on the flowers, but it's okay. The guy's real severely beating up the girl. Is she conscious and breathing? I don't, I don't know. All right, we'll get somebody else. All right. We're rolling to a battery now call. It uh, looks like it's going to be a boyfriend, girlfriend. We've got a male white, 25 years old, NFD, no further details. And the call came in from a neighbor. It's going to be this red light up here. Uh, my assisting unit who's there now just requested an ambulance to our location. So we might have a 245, which is a assault and battery. There we go. Boyfriend, but girlfriend, or? Seem to go. It looks like a boyfriend, girlfriend. No, That'll work. No, we'll get to that in a second. Apparently, also oh, 594 I know her. Ron, All right. No, she lives in Paramount, man. Okay. Is that call. your boyfriend? No, no more. Do you know him at all? Yes. He used to be your boyfriend. He's my, yeah, let me see on, on and off. On and off. Oh, my Today's God. definitely an off day, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I think you're going to be okay. Okay, we got the paramedics here. They're going to look at you. They're going to look at him. How did his face get all smashed in, huh? They was. People that hold him down because he wouldn't hold down. They want to keep him What here. people? These people protected me. Okay. They saved me because I was turning blue. I couldn't even hey, breathe. Are, are you, do you live with him or are you just a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend? He's, you live with he him? lives at the house. Yeah, yeah. 273 yeah. 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 Relax, Tammy. Relax, Tammy. It's, uh, it's uh, she lives in Paramount, man. Does and I work overtime with that guy deal with her. We're heading somewhere. Well, the citizens just restrained him, but uh, yeah. you know what I mean? They did what they had to do. He was cyanotic, though, huh? Let's set him yeah. up, see what we got. Hey. Sit up. He's on his tail. Oh, I God. did it. You're not hurt me like that. You're not going to kill me. I'm not going to let you kill me like that. Tell me about her. No. Yes, he was dead. And he said, 
uh, he was beating on her again, and so she she got upset and said, "Leave her alone! The police are on their way. Leave her alone!" And so he came after us, and that's when he started kicking my car in. Okay, let's let's back up. Where was he beating her at? Over there at Circle K, no, or over actually, here? Actually, it was over on this side of the street. Okay. And how was he beating her? Was he using his, Was he kicking her? Face, I, yes, kick, and then I just. All right. And you guys basically just wanted it to stop, trying yeah. to try and interrupt it, pull him off a little well, bit. Well, no, we didn't even. We were in the car. And I wanted we to make sure everything was there. okay. 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 And I identify this guy so I can have something take done. Liquid yeah. yeah. Doctor is okay to book, and then we'll take him in and book him for us. Okay. Thank awesome. you very much. Yeah, I got the story, so. Yeah, we're on the bike and the wind on the at the pole. The thing on okay, there. thanks. Car if you want. All right, yeah, I'll just talk to you later. I'm gonna basically use these guys here in the car, man. Sorry if I was out of line or anything. That's okay, man. Yeah, we just got to try and get here and settle everything down, then get the story out. I just came down here to make sure that everything was okay with that. That's and I okay. Identify this guy that damaged my car. So how did you get this stuff? That, when I when I well, hang on. when I got out of the car and said, "Hey, the guy just turned around, came at me." Okay. I figured, you know, All what right. am I gonna do? And I started drilling on the dude. No problem. I was absolutely berserk. I had to knock the guy out when he was on the ground. I had my leg up against my. Did you use anything else besides your hands? Nope. Okay, good. Hey, Tammy. This is what I'm going to do, all right? I'm going to try and get a, a car over here with a female deputy in it. We'll try and get you home, okay? Bye. All right. Did I hit someone? Well, hang on. 1031 133, Adam. I'm really upset. Hey, Charles, 133, Adam. You just need your last name. Yeah, I'm And your birthday? What's your birthday? I'm jail or nothing. No, you're not going to go to jail. What's no, your birthday? I don't Tammy? go to jail, I'm saying. I'm not. Tell Ty. What's your birthday, Tom? When? Um, no, it's 425. So your birthday's coming up this month? Yeah. Okay. Well, good. All right. And where are you living now? I know you live in Paramount. Yeah. What's the address over there? Um, it's um, 15333. God, it wasn't for those nice guys over there, I swear to God. Well, see, there are still nice people left there out here. There are. There are. He's crazy, though. Uh, don't hang around him anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't, no. Okay, Tan, if you just want to sit down and have a rest, we'll get a car here to take you back home, all right? All right. Just kind of relax. You do it to yourself, man. You got to get rid of these guys. It's a code two, no complainant. Woman screaming, got a bed. Forty-seven. Two ninety-five public for uh, domestic disturbance. It's supposed to be the mother stabbed the son or the baby or one of that. Guys have come over clear. Yeah, we're gonna go over there and see what's going on. Forty-seven. No, you're going right away in my car. <laughs> if he's in the arrest, he won't go to the hospital. He's treated. Yeah, but he's still a much. That has nothing to do don't with you. Don't snatch on me. Come on, ask. Don't snatch. Okay, just lighten up. Nice, nice, nice. Lighten up. Yeah, we're just asking. Yeah, we're just asking you. Don't snatch on me. They're not snatching on you. Yeah, we're just getting the car. What is he doing if he ain't? He's just asking you to get in the car. Just get in the car. Just get in the car, dude. She's not going in the car. She's 61 years old. She's going to sit in my car. Okay, now get away. You don't have to holler my house. Listen, listen, listen. You go upstairs. You go upstairs. We just saw the investigation. Listen, I'd like to talk to you. Yeah, have a seat. Did you hear what I said? 61, no. Did you hear what I said? They're not taking her in the car. Shit, man. Sit down, ma'am. Go upstairs. I act up in the car. Don't push me. Relax. Don't push me. She's 61 years old. Don't worry about my We're not doing anything to her. Relax. I will. How many times did you stab? Two more times. She just kept stabbing and we left. I mean, for body stabs, we just have blood all over the place. I don't know where. Where? Looks more like droplets, you know. Upstairs is this In the hallway, on the stairs, coming down. Yes, man. Eric, what happened? Tell me what happened. I ain't busted it up. Still saying you went after your wife. I put my hands on her. Why? Why she stab you? My mom's did this to me. Why'd your mother stab? Why would a mother because, stab her son? Because I didn't want her calling 911 on me. So she stabbed you. So she started chopping me when I was holding the phone line. When I put my finger on the damn button, she hit my hand. Right? I put my arm out there on the other hand, holding the button, and she started chopping my arm. Right? I didn't put my hands on nobody. Nobody. 
right? You want to press charges? No, I don't want to press charges on my mom's. She cut you. She stabbed you. Look at your hands. That's my mom's, man. Would you block up your mother? I cheated, so I cheated. That's the law, unfortunately. You got a problem with that? That's the law, unfortunately. Tell our Cleo, Karen, Karen, you didn't do nothing. Karen, you yes, didn't arrange that too, but it's no sense. Yes, I did. Yeah. That's why I figured she was going to, she wasn't going to do no more. But when she well back, I changed hands real fast. I said, Mom, why are you doing this to me like this? I'm your son. This is third daughter-in-law. I'm a daughter of love triangle. Mom, I'm not stupid. Come on over here. All right, when they come to her, I can stupid. Excuse me, you ain't got grandma red. Go back to the house. Well, you will not feel like you're not taking her. I'm down. You can get the f on the kill. All right. If you lock me up, I love you locked me up with that old lady in there. Come over and talk to me. Hey, you ain't got to grab me. Come over and talk to me again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, because he ain't got to go. I want to explain to you what he's doing. You want an explanation as to what's going on? I'm not disrespecting you. I'm talking to you. I know you're not. Come here. Lower your voice and I'll explain to you what's going on. The mother stabbed, the mother in law stabbed her son. We can't walk away from that. The judge will determine the, the judge the judge will determine if it's self-defense. We're taking her in, she's gonna be charged, and later on, a judge will determine if it's self-defense, okay? But tonight she's going down. All right? Oh, but don't make going down. Thank you. Your job Thank is you. your job. It is exactly. Exactly. Okay, you have to do your job. Oh, oh, oh. Have I done like yes. Because we don't want you near the car letting people out. Because I'll choke him. We'll have him under arrest. Just shake your head a little bit. Can you deal with your wife telling you? No, I cannot deal with my wife telling me she's doing my mother. I dealt with it for quite a while. She wanted to come over here, and my mom's talking. Yeah, three kids with Karen. Karen, what's going on? 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 Karen, what's going at this, at this point in time, he violated a restraining order against his common-law wife. Uh, and in the course of the disturbance, his mother cut him several times on his hand. We're going to be taking her down. Domestic ADW. Domestic ADW relative to the, uh, the confrontation with his son. So what's going to happen? They're both going to go to court in the morning, and the judge is going to divide it from there. He'll sort it out, let them handle it, and uh, see which way they want to go about it. Be interested in the morning how to dress she's a mother attacks her son because uh the mother and uh, wife of lovers oh. interesting that should be going for the court cases 132 in bush i've got him at gunpoint okay gunpoint 132 in bush coverage code three okay. 25 14 can't transmit on tag two okay we'll still send a code three 